welcome to another video from Mastery Tutoring. So today we're going to be doing sad rules. So we have the following question on the screen which is simplify without using a calculator. So let us solve this question. So um, the first thing that we're going to do as we're solving this question is to rewrite the 8 here. So 8 can be rewritten as 4 by 2. This is still 8. Okay, and then we're going to divide by and then we subtract and then um, 18 can be written as 2 times 9. 2 times 9. Okay. And then plus 72 can be written as 2 times 36. So this is going to be 2 times 36. Close the bracket. And then now this other side we have 2 over square root of 2. Now this 2 over square root of 2 is not going to change. So we're going to leave it as it is plus 4, 4 is written as 2 times 2 over 8, this 8 is going to be written as the same as this one, so this is going to be 2 times 4, and then it's under a square root sign, and then we put that to the power of negative 1 there, alright, and then um, because, because of this, right, according to the sad rules, Let's just off ramp a bit and then let me explain this part. According to the side rules, if we have x and y under a screwed sign, this is the same as square root of x times square root of y. That's according to the rules. So we can apply the same thing here. So when we do, we're going to have square root of 4 by square root of 2 over 2. And then this is going to be minus square root of 3. Let's do the same thing here, square root of 2 rather, 2 times square root of 3 plus square root of 2 times square root of 36 and then we have 2 over square root of 2 plus 2 by 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 4 it's power of negative 1 alright so here square root of 4 we know that it's 2. It's going to be 2. If you like, you can change it into to be an exponential form, but then let's just not waste time. So square root of 4 is 2. So this is going to be 2 square root of 2 over 2 minus... Okay, so this one is supposed to be square root of 9, not square root of 3. Or if you like, you can make it square root of 3 to the power of 2. So pardon me, let us correct this together. So this is going to be changing that. I'm going to use a red color just to show that okay, it's a 9. So the square root of, square root of 2 times 9 is going to be square root of 2 times square root of 9. All right. And then this is going to be square root of 2 times 3 because square root of 9 is cos of 3 plus square root of 2 times. And then square root of 36 is going to be 6 because 6 times 6 is, is 36. So this is going to be 6. Right, put it under brackets and then 2 over square root of 2 plus so this is going to be 2 times 2 over square root of 2 times 2 to the power of negative 1. And then now, so now let us cancel the terms that are cancelable. So this and that are going to cancel, and then when they do, we're going to have square root of 2 here minus 3 square root of 2. We can rearrange this, start with the 3, and then we follow with the square root sign. And then plus, same thing goes with this. You're going to have 6 square root of 2. And then this side, you're going to have 2 over square root of 2 plus. Now the 2s are going to cancel. So this will cancel with that. And then you're going to be left with 2 over square root of 2. To the power of negative 1. 2 minus 3 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 2. This is going to be the same as... it's. So you, you can take this square root as an x. So it's x minus 3x plus 6x, if you like. If that's going to help you. So it's basically 1 minus 3 plus 6, which is going to be 4. So this is going to be 4 square root of 2 because of these ones here. And then this one is going to be multiplied by 
So I'm going to take away these brackets. I don't need them anymore. And then this is going to be now because the denominator is the same, we can add the numerators. So this is going to be 2 plus 2 over square root of 2, power of negative 1. And then this is the same as 4 square root of 2 multiplied by 4 over square root of 2. Now this is going to be 4 square root of 2 times, so now I want to change, I want to re write the reciprocal of this. So the reciprocal is going to be square root of 2 over 4. Now the 4 and the 4 are going to cancel and then when you multiply square root of 2 by square root of 2, you're going to get a 2. So this is the answer to the equation. I hope this is clear to you and you understand what's going on in this question. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.